Hi YouTube, this is Sandra, aka Simply Love. I'm here to do your December 2017 monthly love reading. And by request of so many emails that I got, you want me to do intuitive reading in, with my angel in the crystal ball. Thank you all for um, liking that, and I'm going to do that for December. I'm not going to do it mid-month though, so don't ask for mid-month, okay? But I'm going to do it for the month of uh, December for you. So. Let's go on. It's for uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Now, this is not going to pertain to everyone, but it will pertain to some. So, let's get it on. Capricorn. <clears throat> Capricorn, I'm hearing her say, um, you're holding you're trying to hold on to some someone there's someone that you're missing or something and you're you you kind of having i say you trying to have some kind of hope that they are um uh that they won't go or leave or they already have left and you still having hope you're still holding on they may have already gone already and you're you're still holding on but i do see a judgment like maybe a, a judge or something where you're gonna have to uh go before uh, court. Some of you may have a court hearing or court. Somebody may be going through divorce and one may not want to do it. Something that I'm hearing is like you're trying to hold on. And I'm seeing um, um, an eye like focus, you know, just stay focused, you know, kind of protect yourself, protect yourself and stay focused. I feel like for some of you, Capricorns, I'm seeing you taking a journey or traveling somewhere. You're off traveling somewhere. You're just going to take some time out to yourself and you're just going to just go, leave, actually like leave, go to a different state, different country, a different town, a different city, something. I just see you traveling, leaving, like leaving your cares behind. That's what I see and he heard as well. So now Capricorn, we're going to get into the cards. Okay. So give me a little time to shuffle. And see what's going on with your love here. Or whatever message Spears have to say, okay? <clears throat> Here's one, two, three, there you go. Four. Wow, Capricorn, y'all just being communicate. Last month, y'all gave me a hard time or mid-month or something. Now, y'all spilling your guts are here. <laughs> it's good. Okay, get three more. Yo, y'all ready to talk? You must have heard me the last time. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now all your cards fell out for me, Capricorn, and let's get it on. Remember, it's just a general reading. may not apply to all sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? So here we go. The energy that I got here, your first one card is the Ten of Wands. That's the energy of a, a, a fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. doesn't necessarily have to be, but that's the energy is showing me here that you are overburdened. You're overwhelmed with something. You're carrying a heavy load, okay? It's so heavy that you can't even see in front of you. So, so and it may be over this king or queen of wands, Aries. Sagittarius or Leo heavily in your reading right now. You got a lot a lot of fire energy here. It may be this particular person, this king or queen, that may be who you're carrying a heavy load for. Maybe you're taking on too much responsibility with this person. And the ace of wands is showing like, you know, uh you're it's a, a 
new beginning and is very passionate. Okay, a, a a passionate new new beginning that wants to that needs to happen. Okay, for a lot of you uh, Capricorns, and you got the fool. And the fool is telling me that, you know, it's time to take a leap of faith. So some of you are out going to take a leap of faith from a situation uh, from somebody here, male or female, that you're, you know, overburdened with. Okay. Too many burdens, too many things to carry. Um, and that person is going to feel left out in the cold when you do this. Or it could be you doing this to them or them doing this to you. Excuse me. I meant to, that's how I meant to say it. So somebody's going to feel left out in the cold, all right, with this situation. Um, you got the Queen of Swords where somebody's, you know, they just made up their mind. They put their, you know, look, I'm, this is the way it's going to be. You know, they're laying down a law. That's what the Queen of Swords does. She don't take any kind of crap, okay? It's like enough's enough. You know, I'm drawing the line here, okay? You can cross me if you want to, but you see that sword she got up there, okay? You don't want your head get cut off. So be very careful. Um, this could be the energy of Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And then we have like somebody being put on hold. They're waiting around. They're waiting around. They're hanging. They're in suspended animation. It's like somebody's just being put on hold here. And it may be by this queen or king of swords. Um, but with the ten of pentacles, uh, it's just somebody... Um, Something's going, some, something's going to fall through for you, whether it's new or whether it's something that you're just going to pick up, you know, something that you're going to make your mind up about and it's going to, it's going to be good for you. Okay. You're going to make up your mind about what you want, but it's just going to be, there's going to be a waiting period here. Okay. A waiting for somebody to make a decision on what they want to do. Okay. That's what I got for you, Capricorn. Now. Let me give you some additional information. I'm sorry, I got two cards in here that don't even belong in this deck. How did that happen? Oof. Oh, well, we got her out of there. <laughs> So this is the grace cards, and the grace card is going to give you some more in, uh, information, okay? There you go. Thank you, Spirit. All right, you got the mirror card. So learn to see God's presence in everyone you meet. Learn to see God's presence in everyone you meet. So there's, there's somebody for everybody. You just have to see it and see the good in someone. See the good in them. See that. See what you are together for and be grateful for it. Be honorable and be thankful. Okay. So now what I need you two guys to do, as I did with all the rest, is uh, I need you to ask your, some questions in your head. And I'm going to answer them for, through you, through spirit, through the uh, Dorian Virtues answer cards. Okay. So go ahead. One. Wow. Three fell out already. Just right off the bat. I'm going to pull four, so we've got one more. <laughs> so go ahead while I'm shuffling here until the next one fall out, and then I'm going to get them to give you your answers, okay? There we go. All right. Ready, Capricorn? Here's your answers, okay? One answer is recovery. So it's time to, you know, to recover, recoup, regenerate, meditate, all that. The next one is like, it's unlikely for some of you. Whatever your question was, unlikely. And for some of you, it's going to be Perfect timing. That's your answer. Perfect timing for some of you. Okay. And the last one says, don't stop. Okay. Don't stop. All right. So with that being said, the last thing I'm going to give you is Lori Hay, the present moments. And this is like 365 affirmations. And I'm going to 
go like this until spirit tells me to stop and I'm going to give you your affirmation, okay? Use this affirmation daily for the month of December because what you talk about in the universe is what the universe brings about for you, okay? All right, here we go. And for you, uh, Capricorn, it says the pathway to love is forgiveness. Um, I lovingly release the past and turn my attention to this new day. That's your affirmation. You can say that on a daily basis. You can always purchase this book. It has 365 aff affirmations in there. Um, just type it in online, all right? Or, you know, you can go to YouTube and find affirmations to say that you can say different, different ones on a daily basis, okay? Well, Capricorn, that does it for your reading, okay, for the month of uh, October, <laughs> December. <laughs> and um, all I can say is love is all there is. Love is all there ever be. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you all my newcomers for uh, viewing my channel and all you ones who've been there from day one. Thank you for your lovely, beautiful comments, your emails, uh, all that. I really appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you. So until next time, which would be mid-month of, of, of December. I will speak with you then. Until then, be blessed. Bye-bye now.